Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we will take a look into one-to-one -one mapping overview. Well, in this example, we basically take order and address entities to perform one-to-one -one mapping. Well, probably you have used e-commerce shopping website for shopping purpose, right? And whenever you place the order, we have to also fill up the billing address for that particular order, isn't it? And that is the example we are taking in this, you know, uh, in this case to perform one-to-one -one mapping, okay? Each order has exactly one billing address and each billing address belongs to one order. All right. So we basically assume that each order has only one billing address and each billing address belongs to only one order. So this is the one to one mapping. OK. And in order to perform one to one mapping in domain entity or domain model classes in Java project, we're going to use JPA annotation that is at one to one JPA annotation. Well, basically we use add one to one JPA annotation to map source entity with the target entity. So in our case, order is the source entity and address is the target entity. And we're gonna use add one to one JPA annotation to map source entity with the target entity. Well, on database level, this one to one mapping is mapped by foreign key column either on address table or the order table. For example, look at here, this is the entity relationship diagram over here. And we have orders table and addresses table. And you can see here building underscore address underscore ID. So this is basically a foreign key to the addresses table. All right. So the primary key of addresses table becomes a foreign key in a orders table. OK, so this is basically a one to one mapping. Well, one to one mapping or association can be either unidirectional or bidirectional. Well, I'm going to demonstrate both unidirectional and bidirectional one to one mapping in this section of the lectures. Well, in unidirectional association, source entity has the relationship field that refers to the target entity and the source entities table contains the foreign key. For example, orders is the source entity table and addresses is the target entity table. OK, and in unidirectional mapping, you can able to see here this source entity table that is orders table contains a foreign key that is billing underscore ad address underscore ID. So this is basically a foreign key to the you know, uh, target entity table that is addresses table. All right. The source entities table that is at orders table basically contains a foreign key to the addresses table. All right. So this is the unidirectional mapping. Just remember this ER diagram over here. So this ER diagram demonstrate the database level unidirectional one to one mapping. OK, and in bidirectional association, basically, you know, the target entity table contains the foreign key that is order underscore ID, if you can see here. So order underscore ID is the foreign key to the orders table. All right. So primary key of the orders table becomes a foreign key in a addresses table. And whenever we use JP annotations to perform bidirectional one to one mapping, then we're going to use mapped by attribute to define the bidirectional one to one mapping. Well, we'll see in example like how we can use mapped by attribute to define the bidirectional one to one mapping. Well, one to one mapping is pretty simple and straightforward. You just have to remember the foreign key in a particular table. For example, in unidirectional mapping, you can see source entity table contains the foreign key. OK, and in bidirectional mapping or association, you can see addresses table contains a foreign key to the orders table. All right. So you can see the opposite. OK, if you remember this ER diagram for unidirectional mapping and bidirectional mapping, it is pretty simple to you to you know, implement one to one mapping. In next lecture, we'll see how to perform one to one unidirectional mapping using JPA annotations. And we will also see how JPA will map the entity to the relational database table. Alright, I will see you in the next lecture.